Um, so we're going to do lab number 16, planting seeds for Mars. You're going to plant some seeds. You have seeds in your kit, in a bag, and uh, we're going to plant those as a start because it may be too hard to plant seeds on Mars, so we'll plant seedlings here and take them with us to Mars. Let's see what, how this works. So Dave's going to do the lab. I'm going to record it. And welcome to the David. number 16. <laughs> David. And Herman, <laughs> 7th grade science show. All right. Let's go. Okay. So uh, Dave's going to uh, plant these seeds. You'll notice they are different colors because they're different kinds of beans. Um, you probably have some of these in your kitchen. And we're going to plant them. Uh, in a very uh, non-soil method with a paper towel. So take the seeds out of your bag, put them aside, find a paper towel, any kind of paper towel, preferably uh, a light color, uh, white or yellow or tan, and, and put the towel in the baggie that the seeds came out of. I recommend bound to your Viva, you know, because I think it'll hold the moisture. These are just those really thin ones we have in the bathroom here. Okay. So you want to put enough water to let the seeds grow. Too much water, they're going to grow, uh, they're going to drown, and you'll end up with some kind of bean refried thing. It's going to stink <laughs> terribly. So uh, put uh, five milliliters. You get your graduated cylinder. Get your beaker. We're looking for only five at the most. At the most, five milliliters of water. Anything more than well, I went way over there. <clears throat> pour it back. And at the most, even maybe less than five, and over a period of a week or two, we might want to add water as it gets dry or not. You I see the scientists here carefully measuring. Well, and I can't see very well either, so eat your carrots, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, five milliliters of water. Let me see. That looks... Eh. What do you think? It's, it's absorbing it. It's going... So, it wants to be at the bottom. Is all the water at the bottom? The towel has most of it. Do you want some water in, in the bottom? Yeah, we want to have a little puddle of water in the bottom. Okay. So we're going to, what's that, five more milliliters? I'm going to just add probably... And if you have a big towel, a lot of towel, you might have to add more yeah. than five milliliters of water. Okay, that looks good. I think good. that's good. Right there. If there's water standing, pour it out. Okay, now, put the beans uh, on the side of the towel that you can see, because you're going to watch them sprout and grow. Farmer Dave here is planting his crops for next year. And I'm thinking of like a bean and cheese burrito. And my stomach's growling. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, okay, so now we have uh, a medium, the paper towel, seeds, and some water. And that's all it needs. So seal the bag. And now I want you to hang the bag on a window. Hang the bag on a window with some tape. Make it a window that won't upset your parents because the tape's going to stick to it and make a mark on it. So put it on a window. Okay? Hold on a sec. So here we are at the window. Dave's going to hang it in the window. And you have to check this every two or three days to see how they're going. If the towel gets dry, add just like three milliliters of water. Use your graduated cylinder to be accurate. And add three milliliters of water if the towel gets wet. If the towel doesn't get wet, you're do fine. If there's water standing, if the beans are standing in water, you've got too much. So you need to take it off and drain that excess water off. Is that clear? Got it. So Dave, while you're there, why don't you show us the results of our algae farm up against the light. So these are our algae farms. You notice that uh, one's slightly greener than the other. The, the one the colonel made is more green, and he pointed that out to me. He pointed that out to me a couple of times, that the, his algae farm is doing better than my algae and farm. And why would that be? Uh, 
Maybe after we practiced, we got better at it. Maybe it's got less water in it. Okay? So, uh, I want you to check your beans every three or four days until they sprout. And then when they sprout, you can just kind of take them off and throw them away. But write a report. Write down what you've noticed. The length of the uh, which ones sprout first, which ones sprout second, and which ones sprout third. Okay? Anything else, Dave? That's good. All right. That's a cut. That's a wrap.